Good morning everybody. It is bright and early. Welcome to Animal Kingdom Lodge at 6.30 a.m. It is so peaceful out here. You know it's gonna be a hot one when you open the balcony door at 6.30 and think, wow, this is warm. I think we're in for some interesting temperatures this week. Good morning. Hello. <laughs> Let me take a little seat and fill you in on what is going on today. So good morning. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another Disney vlog. Adam's just like lurking in the Sorry. background. <laughs> Good morning from us Good on morning. what I guess is proper day one. Yesterday was travel day, so that didn't really count. Today is proper day one of our Walt Disney World trip for 2022. And it's going to be a good one. Are you excited? I'm very excited now. I am so excited. If I told you I'd been awake since 3.50 a.m. I wish that was a lie. It's really not. So I think an afternoon nap might be in yes. the schedule for today. So if you missed the travel vlog yesterday, let me give you a little rundown of what is going on for this trip. So we are very, very lucky to be out here with the wonderful attractiontickets.com. They are the UK's number one attraction ticket provider with over 20 years of experience selling Disney tickets and we are out here with them as part of a trip that is also in collaboration with Disney itself and there is a whole bunch of UK creators all out here together so I guess as a little bit of a disclaimer for these videos there will be little bits and bobs and some pretty amazing things that I will get to show you in these vlogs which I'm so excited to share um, that might not be part of your average trip around here. <laughs> they might be something a little special. And the whole trip is about hashtag how do you Disney um, to show you all the different ways that you can experience the magic of a Disney holiday. And for us, your favorite dinky couple, <laughs> that includes eating great food, riding big roller coasters, Sipping some beers. A couple of margaritas maybe. A couple of little margaritas, perhaps. Especially today, because that brings me on to where we're heading today. We're going to Epcot, baby. Is this thing on? <laughs> it certainly is. So, today is Epcot, day one. I actually think of all the parks, Epcot is the one that I am most excited to return to. Well, Epcot last time was the surprise, the surprise yeah. treat. I kind of, as a kid, it was like, I didn't think there was anything to do there. I think Epcot was very different 20 years ago to what it is now. Um, and Epcot was the one that we didn't really know anything about or what to expect or anything. But I think it's the one that we have some of like the happiest memories from. I'm just trying to think what the best parts were that we absolutely loved. Soaring, I have really good memories of going on Soaring. So I'm really good. looking forward to that. Test Track, the big like super fast car roller coaster. Yeah, good. looking forward to that one. Space Mission, which you felt a bit weird about. I, we're not doing that. <laughs> but I gave up my astronaut career in 2019 and I will be not ever returning to it. It's fair to say we're probably most excited about the food. Nemo ride. <laughs> no. Um, it's oh, food. It's food. The, Nemo, right? the food because we are here for Flower and Garden Festival. Did you know that? I, yes. Good. <laughs> Last time we were here for Epcot Food and Wine, I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you can see that screen as well. Yes. It's time for us to head down to the lobby and meet everybody. And it's also time to take a little look at Genie Plus, I think, which we haven't really got our heads around yet. Genie Plus is a whole new feature on the My Disney Experience app to do with kind of like booking your slots onto rides and we're kind of learning as we go with that as much as everybody else is. So we're gonna head down to the lobby, have a little look at that, try and get to grips with it, maybe get some top tips from the Disney staff that are here to try and help us out along the way with it. Um, but you'll be learning just as much as we are with that one. So are you ready? I'm ready. You packed a bag? No. No, we're not ready. <laughs> Give you a quick little glance at what is heading out with us today. This is my park bag with this trip. How cute is this? I found it on eBay and I genuinely think it's like my whole soul and spirit in bag form. Here's what I'm gonna take out with me. Obviously I've got my camera right here, that's you. In here I've got three spare batteries. So they are coming out with me. I've also got obviously the mini fan. Cannot be without this. We are here in like end of May, early June. And last time was October. So I think it might be a little bit of a shock to the system how hot it's gonna get around here. Blister plasters and some paracetamol, just in case. Got a couple of hair ties, because I suspect this hair won't be lasting very long. Got my sunnies, my wallet, which I also need to pop this in. This is our little room key. I've got a little Donald and Adam's got Goofy, which is 
surprisingly fitting actually. A lip balm, passport, because in case we want a little beverage. Um, I seem to remember last time they wanted to see passport rather than UK driving license. Obviously my phone, so I'm gonna pop all of that in there right now. I'm also gonna grab an umbrella. I'd say one of our top tips as well that we were so glad we did last time. It might sound so obvious, bring a reusable water bottle with you. Just a little one that you can keep topping up throughout the day. It's like the most important thing. If you are a, a Disney first timer like we were last time, I wouldn't say we learned a lot last time, but one of the things we did learn was that hydration is like the key to a good day. And actually that really affects your energy levels as well being out and about in this heat. Oh, I've just realized I need to put some ears on. Let's choose my ears for the day. How can I forget? I feel like I've been quite restrained. I've bought four pairs with me. Adam laughed at me and said it was ridiculous. <laughs> no, no, I didn't. I think that's averaging like a different pair of ears every two and a half days. I don't think I did laugh. <laughs> that might be bad maths. So I'm thinking I could go classic for an Epcot day. Uh, or maybe this blue because I'm wearing this little denim play suit. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? I, do you think? I think the blue. We think the blue? Let's have a look. Thought I'd give you a quick little outfit of the day. I really love this outfit. I found this little denim play suit which I thought would be so nice. I put it over a white t-shirt and I've got my little backpack on. I've gone for the blue ears because I feel like they match the denim play suit nicely. Adam's just said this is dad chic. But Look, he's rocking it. How much my backpack and my shorts match? <laughs> That is very good coordination. When I said that we were going away and coming on this holiday again, a lot of people said they were hoping to see the Mr. Smee cosplay return. I think that t-shirt's long gone though. Yeah, it definitely is, sorry. So it's the Mr. Smee fans out there. This is more of a, how there. can we, I'd say this is more of a Jungle Cruise moment maybe? Ready? Got everything, we've added some sun cream, we've added some hand hours. sanitizer. I've already been awake for 13 days. Let's go and find everybody else. Just had to get a little clip of this light coming into Animal Kingdom Lodge this morning looking beautiful. Give you a nice look around the lobby now as well because it's almost completely empty. We're pretty much the only ones in here. I've just noticed the floor. How beautiful. I quite like that in our house to be honest. We're on the coach. We just rocked up to Epcot. There it is. First sign of a Disney landmark. I see it. I see it. We've arrived. We've got the whole gang behind us. There's so many ears behind us right now. On the coach it was just like ears, 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 ears. But we're here. We're at Epcot. I can see the giant spaceship golf ball adam said it was a dome i don't think it's a dome <laughs> scolded for calling it a dome which is absolutely insane well a dome implies it's a flat bottom <laughs> there's okay. none of those around here so i think first up we are heading to a little introductory chat just to kind of talk through the week let us know what we're all about apparently there's some exciting special guests and then we're going to have a quick bite to eat i think there's some breakfast on the cards and i think the first ride of the day so unbelievably exciting is the new, wow, the new Guardians of the Galaxy ride, which is meant to be unbelievable. Maybe the best ride ever made. <gasps> Look at it! Wow! <laughs> Look at this! Wow, look at those beautiful blue skies. God, it looks so amazing. Oh, look, you can see a uh, floral goofy through there. <laughs> Oh, it's totally anyway, I should probably look where I'm going. My Disney shadow. My Disney shadow is slightly different to my usual shadow. Ears on. Can you see the dome? No, Where is it? You've got a slightly longer arm. Where is it? I think it oh, might it was, be it was here. So, it was so bright, I couldn't see Wait, it. Wait, let me turn right. the brightness down. Oh, you can see it. It's just I can see screen. it. Yeah, I can see it. My sign's are too bright. <laughs> there you go. Yay! The dome. The ball. The egg! <laughs> Seen Goofy? The real landmark that we all came to see. My guy. Goofy, made of hedges. How exciting! <laughs> Follow the signs. <laughs> We are officially heading to Guardians of the Galaxy. That's me living my best <laughs> life. <laughs> Literally, I don't think Adam could be more excited right now, honestly. Um, I am not allowed to film on the ride, but I will definitely film all of the queue area because apparently it's really interactive and cool. Oh, let me show you the entrance as well. This looks amazing. Wow, it's so bright. I need to get my sunnies on. Wonders of Zanda from our world. To yours. Look at the ceiling. Wow. I like spinning. Wow. 
spinning around as I'm walking, trying to take it all in. That is amazing. It's one of those ride queues where I don't really know what to expect. I feel like I could turn any corner right now and something amazing is about to appear. Wow, look at this! Agricultural farms are a true wonder. Welcome to Zendai! Our land-based habitats are capable of producing immense quantities and varieties of fresh food to feed our diverse population with algae farms within the outer. So apparently there's six different songs that you can get while you're riding this ride. Um, so we have to ride it at least six times. Yeah, I mean, that's yeah, a good invitation as any. Yeah, so we're gonna have to keep riding this while we're here until we get them all, I think. It's like collecting Pokemon cards. We're kind of whizzing through this um, because they want to get us on the ride, but this would be such a cool queue area if you're kind of hanging around and you can look at everything in detail. It's really, really amazing. <laughs> ah, Johnny Karate. <laughs> Go all the way up to the yellow line. Do not go beyond it. We're about to go in. We're about to do it. Take deep breaths. See you on the other side of Zandar. Greetings, Thames. I am Nova Prime Irani Rayan, commander of the Nova Corps. On behalf of all Zandarians, I hope you have enjoyed exploring the wonders of Xandar. As you have seen, your world and ours were born of the same moment, one which you refer to as the Big Bang. <laughs> Adam has like a blue box hair. <laughs> I'm looking forward to watching back what just of us coming out because I feel like we're both on another, all over literally the place. on another planet going through space. That was absolutely like nothing else I've ever been on. No. Uh, everyone that's coming up the ride is just like wired <laughs> and absolutely buzzed. It's Everyone's so amazing. Big. You're like zooming. How do you even describe it? You're literally like zooming and like gliding. But, like, but also roller coastering. You're like forwards, backwards, sideways. Back, the backwards parts were so good. Yeah. I love a bit of a backwards bit on a, on a ride, it's one of my favourite things. Um, and we got Tears for Fears, which was a great soundtrack to ride that to. Although, like, it's such a good idea because now I want to do it a million times to ride it to all the other songs. Drax and Rocket put in stellar performances, <laughs> that's probably the highlight. Didn't really know what to expect, but um, it was absolutely amazing. I would say riding it before eating is probably a good idea because it's very spinny. Um, and they, they did give us a little bit of a warning before we went in that, like, motion sick motion sickness is a bit of a possibility um, and I can definitely see if you really suffer with motion sickness it might be a bit of a a bit of an ordeal it's, 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 yeah, it's quite intense it's quite intense but, um, but it's also it doesn't feel like scary though it's just really like no, exhilarating and exciting like, and fun like crying <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like both our eyes are like streaming watering water water. but I think like partly for me as well because I was laughing so much exactly so that is our first ever ride of Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic rewind and now I want to do it 10 million times more. Adam just said oh it's not too hot this is manageable. It's literally five to nine in the morning. <laughs> well <laughs> I think we've got a little while to go. I'm taking the positive out of this weather for someone of my complexion and haircut. I think we're heading for some breakfast now. I'm hoping so anyway because I'm now that we've uh, flown through the galaxy I'm pretty hungry. Oh this looks so pretty. It's a very beautiful morning here in Epcot. I'm absolutely amazed by how good Adam's sense of direction recall is. Like, I have got no idea where we're going right now. Uh, but Adam's like, oh yeah, Norway's just around here. What? Yeah, but I just remember all the different things we ate and I can like, <laughs> where we were standing. I can right only there. remember places in terms of what we ate. That sounds about right. Look at these little guys. Cute. Thank <laughs> you. 
This just looks so beautiful. Did it look this amazing last time we were here? Yeah. I feel like the, col the colours just look unbelievable. Last time there was a lot of more food stands, I think. Yeah, I suppose. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Maybe. So maybe we're getting a bit more of a view this time. Oh, here's Mexico. Just ahead now. The margarita stand. There it is. Knew it. We missed you. This is where we're heading for breakfast. We've reached Norway and we're heading into this beautiful building. How do we say that? Akershus. I bet that's not how you say it. I bet we've just absolutely butchered that one. Princess still. Hello everyone. Good morning. Thank you. Good morning, welcome. Okay, it's still working. I'm gonna struggle to juggle everything here, but just know. We're about to hit the buffet table. It's about to get wild. Look at this breakfast. We've got everything you could possibly dream of, including my first ever Mickey waffle. Look who's arrived. The whole Frozen gang are out in full force to hang out with us over breakfast. What an absolute treat. This is the bottomless brunch I came for. I love the dresses. They are absolutely stunning. Beautiful. Right, we are fed. Our duties are done for the day. We've said goodbye to the rest of the group who we're meeting up with again tonight for the fireworks. But until then, we are free as a bird to explore Epcot. So we have actually managed to book ourselves a little Genie Plus pass for Soarin'. Soarin'. So apart from Guardians of the Galaxy, of course, Soarin' is going to be our first ride of the trip. Looking forward to that. I liked Soarin' last time. I, I loved Soarin' last was time. Was there like a smell? Yes, there was. There was like yeah, you're totally bits. right, there was. I'd forgotten all about that, so I'm looking forward to that as well, actually. Um, so we're off to Soaring in about an hour's time, you said? Yeah, I think it's about, yeah, so about, about past, an hour, yeah. I think our little slot starts at five past 12. Yeah. Um, basically with the whole Genie Plus thing, you kind of get like a time slot where you can come back to the ride in that little time slot. And it means you're not queuing for quite such a long time. So that's our first one of the day. And once we've checked into that one, we can then book our next one of those. So first ride of the day is booked in. I think until then, we're just gonna have a little wander around the lake. Is it yep. a lake? It's a lake. Yeah, I've got a little lake. A little explore, take in the atmosphere, try and come to terms with the fact that we're actually here. <laughs> Hopefully it might help. I think now that we've had food, I've done the ride and had food, I now finally feel like I'm on holiday. Yeah, I, I feel I the same. Like I feel like I've like unwound slightly. Yeah, last night I feel like I was very tightly wound. Yeah. And I tried to think what I was like on camera about <laughs> 10 o'clock last night when I was in a bad mood. Slightly delirious. Yeah, it's like rubbish, but now we're outside and it's roasted and the sun is on. Holiday has started. Get ready for the jokes, they're about so, to begin. The jokes never stop. <laughs> some, not, of them just not lit, these some, guys. Of them, some of them are just more funny than the rest. It just looks so beautiful. All the flowers coming out in bloom. I just can't get over the colours. It doesn't even look real. It looks absolutely stunning. One of the things I was most looking forward to about this trip is the Flower and Garden Festival and all the amazing garden decor and all the plants and the topiaries and the flowers and it is not disappointing. <laughs> Look at the seven dwarves. These are so amazing. These, these are great, have you seen that? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, I didn't even see Kermit. What an absolute Kermit. legend! Kermit is that how he talks? <laughs> sort of. Uh, it's so nice to see you in the garden, Miss Piggy. <laughs> Hello, Kermit. No. <laughs> that was a bit Mickey Mouse, if anything. Same voice. Same voice. <laughs> oh, they're so amazing, aren't they? Who's this one? Dopey. Oh. Tell me you don't know your dwarves. No, not in Topiary form. <laughs> oh, a little butterfly. Yeah. And I think these kind of setups in the water for the fireworks tonight. There's a new fireworks show called Harmonious. Well, it's not that new anymore, I don't think. Uh, but we're going to see that tonight, so looking forward to that. This is, these uh, topiaries are really going to slow our walk down because I'm going to want to stop and admire every single one. Of course, on the way around as well, we're also going to be scoping out our food options for a little bit later on. We're very full from breakfast right now, otherwise we'd be picking up some bits for the journey. But um, we'll be back around later on, definitely, to do some food sampling for sure. Ah, oh, this is Italy. Shame to get a nice aftershave then, but a lot of sun cream on the top. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> bit of a weird combination of scents. 
via Benden. We um last time we were here we didn't really explore all these kind of different pavilions very much. I don't think I don't remember seeing a lot of these. <gasps> Lady in the tram. Oh, that's good. Oh wow. It's the vibe as well. Yeah. It? This one might be my favorite so far. I love ladies ears. They're so good. <laughs> The Skyliner! Can't wait for a little Skyliner trip at some point. We're um, having a little wander to see if we can find... Oh, it's here! Look, Ratatouille! We wanted to see if we could find the new um, 105 minutes! Wowee! There's a whole new kind of expansion part to the French area, which wasn't here last time we were here. So we wanted to make sure that we had a little look, scope it out. Do you want to go for a wander in there? We've got time. Yeah. Yeah, we don't, we don't have time for the ride now. There's the Remy Ratatouille adventure. Yes. What is it? Like a... It's like um, you sit in a mouse and you're like shrunk down to the size... Oh, mouse? Obviously a rat. You're shrunk down to the size of a rat and um, you go like through the kitchens of Ratatouille and stuff. It's really, really good. I went on the one in Paris, but obviously this one might be slightly more enjoyable because my Duolingo French skills were not quite up to scratch enough to understand the one in Paris. This is really amazing. It's so immersive. We were just saying like, it's wild how you walk into every little area in this park and it really does transport you. We've been to a couple of the places that these areas are inspired by and it really does feel like them. It's amazing. Anyway, we'll be back here to ride the ride for sure. Oh, Gusto! Ah, little Remington. Chef Remington the third. Looking majestic on his wheel of cheese. Just heading into jolly old England. There's Alice in bloody wonderland over there, chaps. <laughs> what, what, pip, pip. The main thing that they're getting wrong with this England thing is that England doesn't exist in this weather. <laughs> <laughs> England might look like this if we ever saw the sunshine. Oh, look at Winnie the Pooh. Yes, what a guy. Adam spirit animal. We're just laughing about the fact that the tune in the background when you walk through the UK pavilion is green sleeves. That famous English banger. Try to think what actually would be the most quintessential English banner. You could do like the Rolling Stones or the Beatles. Oh, I was going to say like, Will Griggs on fire. <laughs> Da, 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 da. In this weather, that's all you've hit. The land. We found it. It's just, it just isn't feeling very familiar to me. I know we've <laughs> been here before. <laughs> Obviously didn't retain very much of it. Oh, I can feel that aircon already. Sweet, sweet aircon. Who's ready for a little trip around the world? Do you know what they should do? If they ever want to add some uh, Disney IP into this ride and turn it into like do. movie I themed. <laughs> we could go soaring around East High. <laughs> We're soaring, flying. Just doing a quick water bottle refill. Oh, we've got the opportunity. I was just thinking as well, this will be a good chance for us to test out the Genie Plus function because it's a very busy day here and the standby entrance is currently 30 minutes. So it'll be interesting to see how long it actually takes us to queue up for this one with the Genie Plus lightning lane situation happening. It'll be interesting to like compare the two. Because it looks like most people are heading down the lightning lane at the moment rather than just getting in the standby yeah. entrance. So it's going to be interesting to see how long it actually takes us to get onto this one. So I don't understand. Where's the I don't pass with Genie anywhere? So we just go down the lane. We've got a Genie Plus lightning lane. Oh. Which is different from a lightning lane. It's, it's yeah, quite confusing. No. We, we really do need to like have a little sit down and get to grips with it. Maybe we'll do that tonight. <laughs> So if you or your little aviators have a fear of flying or of heights, you might want to wait for your party at the arrival gate. Okay, let's review. That is seat, seat belt, carry on item, safety strap, fear of heights, keep your hands and arms inside at all times, anything else? Well, yeah, have a nice flight. I feel like I need to lift my feet. 
nerves to not hit the wall. Over Simba and Rafiki doing a. I love it. Doing a thing. And through Arendelle, you said. And Moana. All of them. It works. Through Andy's room. Disney, if you're watching, that's the next one. We did just realise though that if you went through Andy's room for Toy Story, it would probably smell <laughs> like Links Africa, teenage boy. <laughs> I've just spotted that it's only a 20 minute wait in the standby line for Living with the Land. Uh, this like gentle little lovely boat ride, which we actually didn't do last time. So we're going to hop on in here, I think, before we leave the land and head elsewhere. Let's see what this one's all about. Welcome to our living laboratory where scientists from Epcot and the US Department of Agriculture are exploring innovative ways to produce bountiful harvests now and into the future. The common grains grow up here. Maize, sorghum, and milk, plus rice, account for nearly two-thirds of our global Thank food you. consumption. Mm -hmm. Learning how to increase yields of these stables is Extremely an important hot. goal <laughs> yeah. as a in the world. Thanks. That's what it meant for you. Pigeon pee. <laughs> <laughs> That's my nickname for you. Basil. <laughs> No, you're the nine pound lemon. <laughs> <laughs> we are living with the land's new biggest fans. Wow, what a ride. So wholesome, so beautiful. Guardians of the what? No. <laughs> We're the guardians of this land, is what I've learned. <laughs> I am the Groot of Earth. <laughs> and I think that's what we should all take away from Epcot. You finished? We. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> it was so relaxing. A lovely way to spend 10 minutes when it's roasty toasty out here. Oh, look at Woody. Oh, that's so cool. It's me pals. Woody, more like leafy. <laughs> That one needs some work. <laughs> not your best, not your best. We were going to go for a bite to eat, but when we were waiting in the queue for Living With The Land, we scooped ourselves a little Genie Plus slot for Spaceship Earth. Monorail! Ta -da! And we've only got that for another half an hour or so. Oh, look at that BB-8 balloon. Um, so, we're going to go and... No, I do R2-D2. No, you do a good BB-8. Uh, they're one and the same, really. No. <laughs> they, make quite, they make quite similar sounds. So we're going to do Spaceship Earth first, and then we're going to go head and get a bite to eat. It is hot out here now. We're going to have to do another sun cream application. Yeah. Post haste. <laughs> I actually don't think it feels very busy here. It is. It is but then maybe now everybody's moved down to all the food stalls and stuff for lunchtime. I think the food will be busy now. Yeah. I think everyone else is going to keep the guys of the galaxy. Like <laughs> yeah. I think it's currently at about 200 minutes or something, isn't did it? You, did you show them what happened when we tried to get the virtual cube guys of the galaxy? I don't know whether I got it or not, but um, there's a chance to get into the virtual cube for Guardians of the Galaxy twice a day. One at 7am, which we didn't do because we were meeting everyone in the lobby at that time. And then there's another one at 1pm, which we did try and do. <laughs> we were in the queue for living with the land. Literally, the second Adam pressed the button to like move into it, the whole app crashed. Just, just, just admit, not even didn't even think about like doing anything. It just pressed the button. And it was just like a self-destruct. It was button. just like, nope, you've already done it today. You can get lost. And then went back in the queue, and it wasn't even thirty seconds later, and it was like, sorry mate, none, yeah. of, none of these. Available. Honestly, they went in. It must have actually been under a minute. Like it was crazy. Oh yeah, because by the time I back in, it was still one, not even one oh one. Yeah. And it was like gone. No, no space. No chance. We would love, love, love to ride it again. Maybe we'll try again later in the trip. Yeah. Uh, next time we pencil in a little Epcot visit, I think we'll give it another go because we would love to ride it again for sure. But here we are. We've just arrived at Spaceship Earth. So let's go for a little voyage through history. 
That's actually the dream. We're just having a little browse just to get a little uh, aircon break on our way to the food. And it seems like Disney have really cottoned onto the fact that the vintage stuff, like the vintage looking stuff, is the way to go. There's so many of these like retro style ringer tees, which I feel may be my downfall. I really love this one. Oh, look, you can have your own Chris Pratt jacket. A bracket. <laughs> Adam's slightly tempted by this little Mickey polo. Be nice for golfing. It's really cute, actually. Uh, or maybe this one. <laughs> But something slightly jazzier. Oh, they're cool. Little 50th anniversary trackies. Nice. I do really like this design. These, um, they've got t-shirt versions with that design on as well. They're really, really nice. Oh, this is so cute. I love him. Little saucer of Mickey. <laughs> Look at the hippos from Fantasia. Okay, what we're working with, what we got, what we got here. Tostada de chorizo. Might be quite nice. Taco Vampiro. That sounds great. Should we start here maybe? Yeah. Okay, so first up we've got a little tostada de chorizo here. And it's actually plant-based chorizo. We're not entirely sure how to approach eating this one. But we're going to give it a good try. Do a little taste test. Adam's already tried it and said it's delicious. Yes? Yes, yeah, it is delicious, yeah. Oh, that's really good. It's really tasty. Mm. Oh, that's really good. Next up, we popped to Lotus House, I think it was called, and we got the spicy chicken skewer. It looks absolutely delicious. Do you want to do a taste test? I'd love to do a taste test. You're up. It looks really, really oh. good. It's covered in some kind of that delicious looking like, sauce. Smells like peanut -y. Yum. Good? No, you won't like it. <laughs> <laughs> That spicy peanut, it's really nice. It's like a that is really good, it's like a creamy, yum, nice amount of curry. Oh, that's so so good! I love that. Yum, 10 out of 10. Next up, we have chicken yakitori, which comes with a nice little spice and some pickled onions, which I'm not gonna lie, I'm extremely excited about. We also have the beautiful luxury of a table in the shade, oh. a candle in the wind, a table in the shade. It's my favourite Disney ride. Oh, that is nice. Yeah. Mm. I thought it was a bit flavourless to start with, but it's actually really, really nice. It's very nice. I chickens, might put some of the... Chicken's very well cooked. I'm going to put some of the pickled onions on this next bite, mm. just to really live my best life. Mm. Okay, they make it even better. <laughs> That's what to do. You put it on top? Mm. Everybody. Proof that pickled onions make everything and all things better. Uh, seeing as we're living our best life in the shade right now, we thought we'd have a little treat yourself. We've gone for the frushi. This is one of the kind of, I would say it's like an iconic um, flower and garden snack to try. Lots of you guys messaged me about this one. So I'm excited to try it. It's like strawberry, cantaloupe, I think there's some pineapple in there. It's with sweet rice. It's wrapped up like sushi and then it comes with cream. I'm excited. <laughs> So can you just eat that in one bite? I never eat sushi. Do you eat sushi in one? Yeah, I think they're just like little bite size, little bite size snacky bits. The cream's already melting though. I've literally walked about three, yeah. me three meters and it's already on bits. the way. Cheers, Cheers. to Frushi. Mmm. <laughs> that is nice. Wow. wow, that is delicious. I absolutely love that. That is so nice. Mm. That strawberry. It's 
strawberry sauce. That's really nice, actually. Mm. Mm. That is a surprise hit for Adam. I feel like you were very unsure about that one. I like sushi. I think you love fruit. <laughs> We're off to a, a losing start there, but um, no, it's absolutely delicious. I want to get more cream on there. Ah, la Tour Eiffel. We're back in France and we're gonna head on to Remy's. I think this is Adam's dream ride of the day. <laughs> Very excited for this one. I just wanna see my guy Remy doing what he loves. Number one man Remy. It is super busy around here. Just a little warning in advance. It is crazy busy. It's currently a 110 minute standby line for Remy. But we actually have a lightning lane for this one, so that's cool. This is like, remember when we this is a 3D ride, this is not a style choice. <laughs> although, although... Hey! Here's our ride! <laughs> Yeah. A cheese plush. <laughs> <Quite well. laughs> Who doesn't want a plush cheese? It's Mary Poppins. We've just come for a little browse in the England shop and it's just absolutely <laughs> crazy. There's your movie poster. Is that Red Sailor King movie poster? Is, Is this really sold? what represents where we're from? It's absolutely mad. No wonder everyone thinks we're all insane. This is perfect. I have been looking for some new sword storage. I'm so pleased. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Where have you come from? And who are you? Well, we've just been tempted by one last little dish from the citrus blossom. We're gonna get this marinated pork belly. It looks awesome. This looks delicious. We've got some corn, we've got some tortilla chips, avocado. Apparently there's some pork in there somewhere. We're gonna dig in and find out. Okay, I think we have a little bit of a plan of action in place. I think we're confident with this. We're gonna do one last ride. We're heading to test track right now. So we're gonna hop onto test track, but we're flagging slightly in this heat. It is a absolute scorcher. And we're trying to keep hydrated and take rest in the shade, but I think we're best to head back to the hotel for a couple of hours this afternoon. Get out the sun for a little bit. We're gonna head out of Epcot. We're gonna find our resort bus, which is something we've never done yeah. before. So we need to figure out where we're going to get that and then we can take a couple of hours i might even have a little nap if the mood suits that's definitely gonna happen yeah 100 percent. So. he might have designed the coolest car of all time that this ride has ever seen oh my god yes yeah that's the one there's beauty and she's grace <laughs> She's I come to pick you up. From, I come <laughs> to pick you up from prom driving this. What do you do? We'll begin with the capability test to see how your vehicle designs perform under challenging weather and surface conditions. Monitoring road surface. Capability test results displayed no, and verified. Now let's calculating total enviro impact. Oh. No. <laughs> Here comes the final test.
Tie your hair back for that one. Bye. Thank you. So we have come back to the hotel. We've been chilling out for about an hour and 45 or so, I would say. It was nearly like two hours, wasn't it? Take a little chill. I might have had a little sleep. I'd call it a power nap. You had a power nap? Yeah, a little power nap. Adam watched Mandalorian. The Mandalorian, chilled out. And um, before we head back out, we're heading back out to Epcot now. I just have to show you the absolute gang that are hanging out outside our balcony right now. I feel slightly like Snow White, like I've summoned all the animals to hang out with me. I need to show you. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Look at all these guys. <laughs> For some reason, I think every single thing in the savannah is right outside our balcony right now it's pretty amazing so this evening we are back over to epcot it's an epcot heavy day today and this evening we're joining back up with the hashtag how do you disney gang we are all meeting at the mexico pavilion adam's gonna yep. give me a nod yes. in the background yeah, yeah, yeah. that's correct uh we're meeting them at eight we're heading to some kind of special little spot i think that they've put aside for us uh, and we're having something hilariously mysterious called a dessert party. Don't know what that entails other than partying and desserts, but hey, they're two of my favorite things. We have just arrived at the dessert party. I just need to show you these before people dive into them. Look how adorable these are. We've got mini caramel apple tarts, Mickey waffle whoopie pies. What a cool idea. These are Dole whipped cream puffs. They look so beautiful. I'm excited to try that. And little mini Mickey melon skewers. How cute. Oh, everyone's left now. I can show you, <laughs> I can show you a lovely shot. This is so beautiful. Oh, what have we got in here? Iridescent churros <laughs> with glitter caramel sauce. Wow, sparkly churros. That is the most Disney thing I've ever heard. It's raining outside, so this is the backup plan. But we've been brought up to this little chill out space. And this is tucked away. What was this place called, Adam? The Fjording. And this is tucked away right at the back of Norway. It's called the Fjording. And we've entered some mysterious back doorway, climbed some stairs. And now we're going to hang out here and eat some delicious desserts for a little while. Let's try this quite exciting looking juice. This looks interesting. That is so delicious. I think it might be the famous hog juice, which I've never tried before. It's like papaya, or maybe, I can't remember, we're gonna have to look it up. Is it like it's pie, orange and grapefruit? Yeah. It's really nice. It's delicious. It tastes like Sunny D from the 90s. Yeah, it is, yeah. This is where we've just been. The Fjording. It's very nice. Got some lovely little cakes. Lovely. And now we're off to watch the fireworks. We've just rocked up to the lake and it is almost time for Harmonious. Are you excited? I, I don't know. For some fireworks excited. and a bit of a light show. It's going to be amazing. Pretty intense structure in the middle of It the is. Airport. There's like, like these huge, what are they, like projection screens? Or? I, I thought fireworks might shoot out of them. But Who know. knows what to expect. Anything that comes with like dramatic flaming torches <laughs> is going to be quite a show. <laughs>
so so amazing. It was like a rundown of all my favorite Disney films. I think my favorite bit actually was the Beauty and the Beast part where they like had the rose above it. It was absolutely amazing. I hope the camera caught it because it was a proper like caught my breath kind of moment. It was unbelievable. I don't think the camera would have caught the. Uh, it was too noisy, but there was a there was a. I think we are good to sign off for the day. So, any parting words of wisdom? Uh, just be yourself. <laughs> Maybe. This is controversial. Epcot reigns supreme. You'll change your mind. Now that Guardians of the Galaxy is here, I think Epcot reigns supreme. Epcot, but and, that, and that evening show as well. I think when you hit uh, Galaxy's Edge. I, I will 100% say a different park every day at this point. Thank you so much for watching. Tomorrow we are hitting Typhoon Lagoon. We're having a water park morning tomorrow. And tomorrow is also Magic Kingdom. So make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. I hope you're enjoying these new Disney vlogs. I have no idea how they're going to come together. They always seem like very mad and insane <laughs> when I'm filming these videos. But hopefully you're enjoying them. Hopefully you can feel the magic through the screen. On that note, we will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Be yourself. <laughs>